Hi, today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. At single locus, there are four alleles segregating in the population. How many different genotypes can possibly occur at this single locus in the population? And here is uh, five uh, answers to choose from. So, um, how we are going to solve this problem? And uh, first of all, uh, just uh, want to remind you that uh, most of the organisms are deployed. And that means that we have uh, uh, two uh, chromosomes that would be homologous. So, all the chromosomes go in pairs. And uh, such pairs we call homologous chromosomes. So, actually, we would have, uh, let me draw, uh, two homologous chromosomes that would be almost identical. But uh, uh, locus is just a position on such chromosome. So, position on the both homologous would be um, at the same position. And uh, also... Uh, According to our problem, uh, we have four alleles. For example, this can be allele A, B, C, and D. And, uh, of course, these alleles can happen here uh, in different combinations. For example, uh, on this chromosome, this can be maternal chromosome and this can be paternal chromosome. So here... At this locus, uh, we can find, for example, allele A, and on the uh, other chromosome, paternal chromosome, we may find allele B. So this can be uh, one combination. Another combination can be uh, A allele on the both chromosomes. So the question is how many different combinations exist when we have four different alleles. And just uh, want to remind you that allele is... Uh, just different form of the same gene. So uh, the same gene, but just uh, slightly different. It can be a, a point mutation, and uh, we can call such gene a uh, new form or allele. So um, in order to solve this problem, everything uh, we have to do is just to build uh, a kind of uh, Punnett square, but this time this is going to be 4 by 4. So this is going to be A, B, C, and D on top. And here we also put A, B, C, and D. Now we build a table and we can find all the combinations possible. Uh, and uh, combinations on the top or uh, alleles on the top would be uh, alleles of one chromosome and uh, here on the side would be combinations possible on the second chromosome. And here we can list all the possible combinations. So capital A, capital A here, capital B a here, capital C A here, and D A here. Here we have A B, B B, C B, and D B. Here we have A C, B C, C C, and D C. And here we have A D and B, D, and here we have C, D, and D, D. But if you think that there is 16 uh, different combinations, this is not so, because um, as you see, some of the combinations are uh, repeat itself. For example, this combination B, A, and A, B, is the same combination. So uh, A, B equals to B, A. 
this is the same combination. And um, another combination uh, can be, for example, CB and BC and uh, C or AC and CA and A D or D A and A D here and so on. So actually what we can do, we can uh, divide this um, Punnett square and find how many really unique combinations we have here. And this is going to be these combinations here. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in our example we have 10 unique combinations. You can list them just taken from this table and this is going to be our answer. So the correct answer would be answer B. And our next question is the wild type phenotype refers to answer A, the phenotype expressed by the dominant allele. And um, this is not uh, always the case because in the uh, wild type phenotype we can find also uh, recessive alleles as long as the dominant alleles and answer B, the phenotype expressed by the recessive allele. And as I said, we can find both recessive and dominant alleles in wild type. And answer C, the phenotype that most commonly occurs in nature. And answer D, the phenotype that has the longest survival. And the correct answer would be answer C, the phenotype that uh, most commonly occurs in nature. This is correct answer, you just have to remember it. And uh, also I want to tell you that uh, there can be different mutations, uh, for example, under the different environmental conditions such as uh, uh, radiation, uh, but most of the mutations are recessive. So uh, it's very rare when a mutation is dominant. So uh, the phenotype, uh, wild type phenotype, usually would be dominant to any new mutations. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.